Hey guys, Ms. Martina Mitchell. I wanted to share a scripture with you today from Philippians 4 and 6. It says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. In everything, let your prayer requests be known unto God. I like it in the New Living Translation, which simply says, don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So don't worry about anything. Instead of worrying, pray about everything. Now, some people tell me I'm deep. Oh, she's so deep. Oh, she's back there. She's doing the super deep thing. Listen, we ought to be praying at all times. We should be praying. And yes, I pray about everything. I pray about everything. I pray about what am I going to fix for dinner? I pray about what am I going to put on? Father, is this appropriate for where I'm going and who I'm going to be um, in front of? Will um, I be showing any of my glory in the midst of I pray about everything. Father, which way should I take to work? Or which way should I drive to church? Just because I took that routine last week or on yesterday does not necessarily mean that's the routine God wants me to take on today. So I pray, Father, where do you want me to go? Listen, the scripture tells us in Ecclesiastes um, that there is a time and a season for everything. And so the route you may have taken in the last season may have been okay for the last season, but God wants to show you something different. So you have to walk yourself into Proverbs and really live inside of the scripture that says, lean not into your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge God, acknowledge him, and he's going to direct your path. So don't worry about stuff. And you don't have to, when you lean, when you press into God, when you're praying about everything father how should I um, approach this conversation that I'm fitting I'm fitting that I'm about to have uh, with this particular person how do I engage with my leader and tell you know share with my leader some things that I want to talk about how do I go forward God in this next phase you're taking me to Lord do you want me to go after that position I know it's more money I know it's a bigger office but is it what you desire for my life and if it's not God I need to know because I don't want to take something because it looks good and later on it's detrimental to my journey with you. So you have to not worry about anything. Pray about everything. Everything. Should you buy that home? I know it's in a nice community. I know it has a driveway. I know your friends don't live far from there. I know they all are doing it. Example, I went moved all the way out to Drexel Hill. Mistake. I realized once I got out there, I was making, uh, doing no ministry, doing nothing that the Lord had required of me as an outreach person. I'm all the way out there. I'm tired. I'm thinking about the drive home. When I get off work, I'm not thinking about who should I feed and who should I go by and see. And, you know, it was, you know, I need to get home. I'm, I'm going to stay late on these nights because it's church. No, then I begin to worry. Why is not my ministry growing? Why, why am I not being called? Um, to help out in some things. Why has the teaching stopped uh, when I was going into different churches and teaching their outreach teams? Well, you ain't even doing no outreach, Tina. I didn't inquire of the Lord, which caused worry. And so when Philippians 4 and 6 starts talking about don't worry, instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Tell God what you need. Tell him what you need. And um, thank him for all that he's already done. And you'll see your life blow up. You'll see God manifesting things in your life that did not manifest before. And you'll find yourself thinking, I haven't worried about anything. No, because I saw them about everything. So I want you to, don't worry. Pray about everything. Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. And remember, we love you over here. Touch, embrace, believe, become. Let the word touch you. You embrace it. Grab it into your life. Begin to believe God's word so you can become exactly who you, he designed you to be. Have a great day. This is Martina Mitchell signing off. Bye.